By the end of the 19th century Brazil had decided upon creating a new utopian capital city. The city officially became Brazil's capital in the 1960s and was named a UNESCO World Heritage Site. We show you the most impressive and exciting attractions to experience. Number 1. Three Powers Plaza Brasilia's governmental center combines some of its most striking landmark buildings and monuments into a stunning showcase of modern architecture. As the name of the Praça dos Tras Poderes, Square of the Three Powers, suggests, it is surrounded by buildings housing the executive, legislature, and judiciary, the Palacio do Planalto, the official residence of the president, the Supremo Tribunal Federal, Supreme Court, and the Congresso Nacional. Number 2 Catedral Metropolitana Nossa Senhora Aparecida The city's most famous landmark is the unique circular cathedral, designed by Niemeyer and completed in 1970. Its 16 curved concrete columns soar upward to create a crown that surrounds a glass roof. The natural lighting effect inside is spectacular. When you enter the church, through a darkened tunnel, you will be surprised to discover that what you saw from the outside is only the building's roof, most of the cathedral is underground. Number 3 Itamarty Palace The Palacio dos Arcos, also known as the Palacio Itamarty, houses the foreign ministry, and is one of Oscar Niemeyer's greatest achievements. A long line of symmetrical arches stands above a reflecting pool, the whole ensemble set in beautiful gardens designed by the noted Brazilian landscape architect Roberto Burl Marx. Number 4 Monumento JK, President Kubitschek Memorial. The dramatic monument on Praça do Cruzeiro is the memorial to President Juscelino Kubitschek, the larger-than-life president of Brazil, who is considered the founder of Brasilia. The monument was designed by Oscar Niemeyer, and many consider it among his finest works. Along with Kubitschek's tomb and a museum devoted to him, the monument contains interesting exhibits on the city he envisioned and saw through to reality, including early plans, construction photography, and other materials that illustrate Brasilia's history. Number 5. Juscelino Kubitschek Bridge On the east side of the city, the Rio Paranoa has been dammed to form a large lake, the Lago do Paranoa. Along its shore are embassies and consulates, sports clubs, restaurants, the university, the Olympic Center, and the Palacio de Alvarada, official residence of the President of the Republic. Number 6 Santuario Dom Bosco The Church of São João Bosco is dedicated to the 19th-century Italian priest canonized in 1934, whose vision of the foundation of a utopian capital city in the New World near the 15th parallel is considered the inspiration for Brasilia. This sanctuary was built right on the 15th parallel, Architect Vasconcelos Naves designed a square building of 40 tall pointed arches that frame tall windows of stained glass in multiple shades of blue, designed by Claudio Naves and made by Hubert Van Dorn. Number 7 National Congress Yet another landmark of modern architecture is the pair of buildings housing the Chamber of Deputies of Brazil, the Lower House, and the Senate, along with their offices. For this, Oscar Niemeyer chose two sharply contrasting designs. For the two houses, he created dish shapes that have been referred to as flying saucers, separating them by a pair of sharply linear rectangular towers. Number 8 Brasilia National Park Brasilia National Park covers 28,000 hectares in the northwest part of the city, protecting a number of different environments, including the low and crooked trees of the Cerrado, the bush steppe of the Brazilian interior, expanses of scrub and grassland, swampy palm-scattered plains, and the imposing trees of the gallery forests found on riverbanks and lock shores. Number 9 Monumental Axis and Torre de TV The 224-meter-tall Brasilia TV Tower is a good place to visit to get an overview of the city and a sense of its layout. It stands at one end of the Burl Marx Garden, and from this vantage point, you get a good view of the entire monumental axis, Exo Monumental, and its landmarks, from the President Kubitschek Memorial to the towers of the governmental complex. Number 10 Museum of Indigenous People This outstanding collection of native Brazilian art and artifacts not only records pre-colonial native culture, but celebrates the living traditions of Brazil's indigenous peoples today. 
historical and present-day implements pottery, baskets, weapons, paddles, and feather headdresses join artworks created especially for the museum in a collection considered one of the best in South America. Hope you like this video. For more videos, please subscribe to our channel.